hi and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to see what the celestial bodies have in store for you for february 2024 now on the 24th of february which is a month from this day that i'm recording the 24th of jan we will experience a full moon known as the snow moon this moon will be occurring in virgo so please be cognizant that it is a time for introspection analytics for a methodical approach to life and obviously due to the fact that i live in the southern hemisphere i won't be witnessing the full effects of it as i would be had i was in the pacific north of the world in mind that this is more of like energetic flow from an introspective phase the year has not officially ended despite us following the gregorian calendar essentially the first year that was ever created had 13 months so hence around about march that will be the beginning of the year my notes from all my meditations essentially lean towards the fact that a lot of like trickery energy going on a lot of meddling but overall it is a positive approach because of the level of momentum that's going on at this point so we're free from personal planetary affliction so we're free from anything that's sort of holding us back any sort of obstacles that we would regularly experience right now we are not no coincidence that you probably feel very ambitious you feel really motivated right now there is a sort of energy to complete and tie any loose ends that have been lingering for a while you know there's enhanced cooperation going on despite individuals majority of individuals experiencing it in the collective an individual can have a completely different experience and that's because everyone has their own unique birth chart or blueprint like i say often in my videos astrology is not fatalistic we all have access to free will that we have the only issue is your level of understanding of it now we usually feel drawn to certain things and certain decisions and certain people because that is a part of our journey it's a similar analogy to an architect drafting lovely blueprints and plans and few things are missing from it but from the outside everything looks as if it's supposed to go exactly to plan and that's basically how i view astrology there's certain hindrances and there's certain there's a certain level of progression that allows you to do what it is that you desire because it is a part of your your blueprint you understand so there's a lot of clarity with this energy of Virgo that's about to come up of clarity smooth communication assertiveness there's a level of uh, solution oriented behavior and collaboration going on there's just full harmony flow and energy working in your favor right now so this is a good time to complete any endeavors that have been lingering for a while to pursue anything career related at least until 20th of march so march is overall the deadline for when the planets are no longer operating in the orbit that it usually is so basically from our perspective it looks like a planet is moving backwards when it's in retrograde but essentially it is not it just appears that way but we still feel the pull of that energy at this current point in time everything is moving in its orbit correctly and routinely so that explains why everything is just more so green light energy where you can just go and go and go and go and receive 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 it's a good time to put in play any manifestations that have also been lingering and uh, just need to understand that february is being cleansed by january energy is very electrical at this time but i feel like it's very introspective it's really inwards it's really asking yourself what have i achieved in my life what am i going to achieve what do i desire what resonates with me am i a light worker am i an accountant am i a spiritual advisor am i a lawyer all those things are really coming up right now it's more so your relationship with yourself your personal strength and your purpose which is really evident during this time right now so it's really effective to ask yourself introspective questions particularly 
when you wake up and before you sleep and to set intentions for the day so it doesn't have to be anything extreme it just has to be okay i'm asking myself a question what do i enjoy what really it creates a spark within me what are the things that i would love to do without getting paid for doing you understand those are really the questions that are really coming up right now like are you trusting your journey on earth that's more so the are you trusting it do you trust that even though these things have occurred during this time period or whatever happened that you know there's a better plan waiting i often have these manifestations that i recite personally every day and i actually wrote it down i always see evidence of good things showing up in unexpected ways you understand i always see evidence of good things showing up in unexpected ways and you know what good things show up in unexpected ways it's important just to align with the natural rhythm of the earth and the universe and to understand yourself if you don't know anything about astrology or birth charts i do advise downloading an app like time passages like uh, the pattern although the pattern is more theoretical it doesn't really teach you astrology more so apps like time passages where you can actually understand your personal planets your personal chart and your journey and why you're experiencing what it is that you're experiencing because at times before i knew what astrology was i felt as though it was a cycle a routine cycle that i was going through and i didn't really understand why because usually for for example when there's a retrograde there's really no evidence of clarity anywhere but when there isn't like during this favorable time right now you can see every single step ahead of yourself and you can manifest whatever it is that you want especially during the time when there's no personal planet affliction so um, keep in mind and stay to the end because uh, you know as usual with this positive energy Perhaps you get a positive pick a card reading towards the end. So pay attention to the timestamps and subscribe to my channel to see if there's anything else that might intrigue you moving forward. So welcome to your February 2024 update using tarot. I'm glad you waited until the end. If this resonates with you, please breathe in deeply. Please inhale and exhale. Please make sure that there is no hidden agendas behind anything that you're doing right now. And everything is truly organic in your life. And all the decisions that you make is authentic and in alignment with your true self. We're going to do a quick cleanse. Now that you're here with me, I hope you've inhaled deeply and exhaled. Please pick the deck that resonates with you the most. When I say deck, what I actually meant is crystal from left to right, one, one, two, three. And I'll see you at your necessary timestamp. Group one, welcome to your 2024 prediction and energetic flow of the month. So right now immediately i'm getting resentment getting heavy water energy pisces scorpio cancer getting resentment so so far these two cards flew out justice and the page of cups so mm, i'm guessing that you feel a sense of injustice towards an opportunity that you didn't take the resentment is more self-resentment you had an offer to do something and you didn't pursue it you did not pursue it group one but i'm getting that you're going to get another chance to do so in february 2024 the universe is availing itself to you and opening up to you to do what it is you deem necessary right now let's see 
Oh yes, okay. So the only thing that really hindered you previously was your finances, but I'm getting that this will no longer be a problem. I see a reunion of four of wands. This is usually pertaining to marriage. A reunion in February, 2024. I think around the 16th, someone will reach out to you and will assist you and give you a helping hand. Ooh. No, that was not meant to come out to excuse me. What else should group one expect? Ooh, that's, that's not exactly what we're going for, darling. Too many cards, too many cards. Okay, so, mm, okay. So the resentment is also from a heartbreak that has recently occurred. Um, you're sort of like recovering from a separation I'm getting too, but there will be a reunion from this, um, damn, the energy is just so dense right now. Wow. All the cards want to come out. I'm sensing a reunion with a past lover in February. Um, perhaps around the 16th I'm getting this lover is an air sign, Gemini, Virgo. Aquarius okay yes this person will award you an opportunity and the hangman reversed means that you are still looking at things from the same perspective that you previously were but that will change when this person reaches out to you I also see that you are going to be helping and assisting a lot of people in February make sure that you're taking care of yourself first but yes that's all for me thank you so much group one Group two, let's see what's in store for you February 2022. So this is either physical death or death of a pattern behavior or of a person in your life. So it's either that something that was a part of your life is no longer part of your life. Um, but I'm really getting, excuse me for that. I'm really getting death here, I'm getting death. Okay, I'm going to take this as a sign. So mm, the tower reversed. So uh, the wheel of fortune reversed and the knight of cups. There's a, there's a significant male figure in association with the person who is about to die or who has already died. And this person wishes to seemingly appear to aid you in some way. But this person is definitely in alignment with... Um, estate dealings when i say that i mean the deceased's estate so the wheel of fortune is reversed for you and so is the tower so you initially had expected your life to be changing with the fortune that you should be inheriting but this person is preventing you from doing so alternatively another interpretation of this could be in a romantic sense hindrance in a romantic sense but still malevolent activity this is going to cause a lot of conflict in your life in february 2023 um but with the ace of swords hmm, with the ace of swords it seems like you're going to triumph over these in around march moving onwards you're going to you know resolve things legally or ask someone for assistance in some way but keep in mind that there is some deception going on for you in February 2024. Did I say 2023? I meant 2024. Um, let's get some more clarity on this situation. Okay, so you're going to abstain from a lot of things. You are feeling the energy very, very strongly in February. You're going to be invited to go out to places, but you're not going to be in the mood to do so. This is going to cause you a lot of like unrest, a lot of illusions. Yeah, a lot of delusions and illusions. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, I think my best advice for you is to be aware of people's intentions for the month of February and for throughout the year, because this is an ongoing matter that is coming up for you in the collective. So just keep in mind that this is definitely something concerning group two and um, perhaps a concerning event to take into account. So keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if it doesn't apply to you, that's OK, darlings. But very much beware for February 2024 if you chose this deck.
group three. Okay, I'm getting page of pentacles. Page of pentacles. Um, you're going to get an opportunity in February. Uh, perhaps a business venture. Perhaps someone is going to aid you financially in some way. This person really views you in a positive light. This person really views you um, in an admirable way. This person I'm getting is an earth sign. Taurus. I'm getting Taurus heavily. Taurus energy. Tor it could be a Capricorn too. Taurus, Capricorn. Hmm, this card keeps coming up. Resentment of feminine energy perhaps. Okay. 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 So you're weighing your options and you constantly wonder whether you know this person it can really aid you in your life and they can um okay so the wheel of fortune reversed too so this isn't a person that you should be going for romantically you should just accept their offer in some way um it's funny how death and rebirth keeps coming up so for the previous group um the interpretation is more so the physical death i think for this group it's more so a um you know sort of spiritual death a more so death of experiences death of way of life uh definitely solo experiences right now you're very much prioritizing your own journey and your financial state there's deception also going on and um because because this person that views you in an admirable way is not necessarily meant for you the knight of wands reversed indicates that there is someone that is making their way towards you however this person is a bit skeptical of you know you entirely and the decisions you're making but it looks like eventually they will change their mind towards the end of the month so i'm getting a lot of deception in financial endeavors but the lovers are showing up so the knight of cups which comes towards the end of the month perhaps this person will not be really happy about the um, lackluster valentine's day whatever it is that you're going to be doing in the future but on this timeline this person and you are going to be romantically involved but the first person who admires you is definitely to be um uh, revered and um to be vetted to definitely exercise a level of concern about so the bottom of deck is the high priestess for you so keep in mind that there is someone that's destined for you on its way or on their way man or woman um, but the high priestess is indicating that there's a lot of deception and a lot of hidden things going on, a lot of trickery energy, like I said in my video. But thank you so much for joining. I will see you again soon.